good afternoon guys it's about one o'clock on a wednesday it's a special late in the day edition of the uh, build series got something i want to work on today but first we're going to do an unboxing and then i'll be back hey guys today is uh monday i got a mystery package this is how it arrived so whoever sent this didn't want me to know who they were. I've got my home address covered up, but this is how it this is how it showed up. The address label is blocked out and there's question marks on it. So I'm not certain what this is, but I'm going to unbox it right now. You guys know what this is? Oh my gosh. If this is what I think it is in this other package, big part of my next install is going to be so much easier because I won't have to fabricate. What I was planning on doing is just fabricating some uh, brackets, but this changes this changes the whole game right here. Oh my gosh! It is. It's exactly what I thought it was. You guys know what this is? are the two main brackets you need to mount a compressor on the cat 3116 motor so this one I've seen pictures of them but I've never seen them in person because they're so hard to come by so this one actually mounts like this and I think this one goes um, I can't remember. I have to uh, open up the truck motor to see. But there's one more package here. Let me open this up. I don't know which one of you sent this to me, but I am extremely grateful because these are the hardest parts to come by. They're so rare. And so people try to scalp each other with them. What the heck? Where did this come from? Somebody out there is making these? This is a uh, double V-belt pulley. And it's billet aluminum. What the heck? Thank you. 
Guys, this changes everything. I was gonna, I actually ordered a nine inch pulley that I was gonna um, drill holes in and make it work, but I don't have to do that now because this piece looks like it's ready to bolt on. And these two brackets are hard as hell to find. Oh, this is so awesome. Oh, now I remember, it goes like this. So it mounts like that, and then this piece goes like this. So it sits on the motor like that. This goes on the front case, and then this goes to the uh, engine mount. This changes everything. Oh, I'm so excited. Whoever sent this to me, I really, really, really am truly grateful. I really appreciate the fact that you sent these to me. These are the hardest parts to find, and now this makes uh, the install that's coming up in this video a whole lot easier. Thank you so much. Today is Tuesday. Time for another unboxing. Oh no! No! Pyrofoam peanuts. Bad, bad juju. Don't send me anything with styrofoam peanuts, ever. You guys already know what this is, but I'll show you anyway. It's a Sandan 4311, and this is part of their heavy duty 715 series. This baby does 155 cubic centimeters per revolution. And if you do calculations, I got a six inch pulley here, a nine inch pulley on the crankshaft. When the motor hits its maximum RPM of 2600, this will be spinning at 3900 RPM and consequently, the maximum RPM sustainable by this compressor is 4000 RPM. So it is a perfect fit. It puts out massive cooling. It's designed to work uh, in Afghanistan to keep the cab at you know 50 degrees or less for the troops when they're wearing all their armor so this baby's going on waiting on one more component and then we're gonna get ready to do the install uh, you guys keep asking you know where to find the hydraulic compressors and the reason I'm doing this install is because these are very common these are 200 bucks shipped uh, and you can find them all day long on uh, eBay so 
something to keep in mind and the reliability and rebuild re, rebuildability factor is really high on these because these are very common parts and you can order them off of eBay all right let me show you what I got in mind for today well I guess if we're lucky it would be a better way of looking at this show you what my goal is here for today one more all right so today my only goal is to get this pulley put on uh, able I have these other brackets and whatnot but more importantly since it's later in the day I think it'd be a good goal to get that put on I do have a brand new fan well it was made in 2009 uh, I'd like to use this at some point hoping it fits I got it from surplus it was like 40 bucks shipped so it's obviously newer than the one that's on there and the one that's on there has a little bit of a wobble in it you can see it when it's idling and I'm hoping that this would correct that uh, let's see So as you can see, we're starting with a blank slate. I went through and took all of the uh, hydraulic air conditioning components off. I've proven that that system does work and will work on an LMTV, and it works surprisingly well. But a lot of you guys are having a hard time finding the um, compressors, so uh, I'm coming up with another solution. And the compressor that you saw in the unboxing is very, very common. Uh, they can be found on eBay a lot. Uh, if you just type in Sandin 4311 on eBay, you'll see there's probably 10 of them on there right now. But anyhow, I think what we'll do is we'll get started by taking this uh, shroud off and then trying to get the fan off and the uh, fan clutch and then uh, start sizing up uh, the longer length bolts we need. Head over to the hardware store, get the longer length bolts, get those torqued in, and then We'll just see where the day takes us. I'm not sure if we're gonna go further than that today, but we'll get started.
guys. Getting that off wasn't too bad, but it does help if you get all the Allen bolts out before you try to pull that clutch. So you see how this thing sits? Uh, perfect would be a really good word to describe it. It sits just like a dot. Now I need to go to the store, hardware store, and find uh, five eighths longer bolts for this because the thickness of this um, pulley right here is an additional five eighths. So I can touch the uh, crankshaft right now, but once I put the clutch on there, that ain't gonna that ain't gonna fly. So I am gonna run up to. Ace, because Ace is the place, and uh, we'll try and find something that'll fit there, and get this pulley on there permanently, and then get everything put back together. So let's head up to Ace. In case you guys are wondering, there's six of them. 11.94 was the total. They are class 12.9, 10 millimeter by 1.5. 50 millimeters long class 12.9 10 millimeter by 1.5 and 50 millimeters in length the stock length is 30 millimeters so added about 5 eighths of an inch which is exactly how thick that plate is on the pulley head back home normally I'd be able to use this fan blade but the um, center hole is a bit too small to go over the clutch so I'll have to take this to the machine shop and have it hogged out a bit uh, if I ever do want to use it. The pitch is a little bit steeper on this blade and the diameter is about uh, one inch smaller as well. Uh, but I think it would work. I just have to have it machined. And I'm not going to do that. I'll just put this blade back on. It looks like it's in good shape. There's no cracks on it anywhere. So I think I'll just reuse it.
Well, UPS just showed up. UPS just showed up, so let's do uh, one more unboxing. This is from a company on eBay that I'm not even gonna post a link to because uh, I'm very disappointed with their service. Uh, they advertise USPS priority mail and then they ship it UPS. So uh, I already went back and forth with them once and I'm not gonna do it again. And of course they ship me styrofoam peanuts and I asked them not to put that in every single one of my ads where I purchase something. So yeah, they're gonna get some uh, feedback that I feel is appropriate. Anyhow, what this is for is to convert the um, York style compressor mounts to sand and let me show you here what it, what it does. What it's supposed to do, keep in mind I haven't test fitted this yet, but so you got your York style compressor mounts. This of course is supposed to mount. This is wonderful. What a great company that makes stuff that doesn't fit. Fantastic. Anyhow. Most likely gonna get welded on here now because this is not it's not fitting the way it's supposed to. It's supposed to go like this. Apparently it's not gonna fit like that. So we'll have to do some fabrication. like it'll fit but you got to um, use a bunch of washers to shim it out and stuff so happy happy joy joy thanks a lot uh, heck I'll say their name I'm not afraid to say their name where is it I know it's on here somewhere cold masters on eBay stay away from cold masters on eBay Bad juju. Anyhow, that's supposed, supposed to be how it works. Looks like I'm going to have to chop this baby up and uh, make it work for my purposes. But you get the idea. Well, hopefully that's the hardest part is getting that pulley in there because that's done. Cleaned up all of the uh, connections and... Uh, redid the intercooler piping uh, straps a little bit so pretty happy with getting that done today tomorrow looks like it's gonna be a day of fabrication so if you guys like this video found some of the information interesting or useful give me a thumbs up If you're not subscribed yet I'd love to have you as a subscriber hit that subscribe button down below blu-ray says he wants to go in the house and as always, take care guys, I'll catch you next time. See you later, bye-bye.